In this video, we'll look at whether BASO4 is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. This is barium sulfate. So when we look at our definition for an electrolyte here, an electrolyte, that's a substance. It dissolves in water or another polar solvent. It produces ions. And those ions, that means the solution will be able to conduct electricity. So barium, that's a metal. And then our sulfate ion, this is a polyatomic ion, group of nonmetals. So a metal and nonmetals, this is going to be ionic. So we have ions. The question is, when we put it in water, will it dissolve and dissociate, break apart into those ions? In general, if you know your solubility rules, when you see sulfates, in general, they're soluble. They'll dissociate, dissolve in water. But there are a few exceptions. One you need to remember is that barium sulfate is insoluble. When you put it in water, most of it won't dissolve. Most all of it stays a solid. Only a little bit will break apart and form ions. So it's an electrolyte because we have some ions, but we don't have many. So it's going to be a weak electrolyte. For the ions, you would have a few barium ions, Ba2+, plus, it's on group 2 on the periodic table, and you'd have a few sulfate ions here, SO4, 2 minus. And since those would be dissolved, it would be aqueous like this here. But you wouldn't have very many since it's an insoluble compound. So to recap, barium sulfate's insoluble. We only get a few ions, so it's an electrolyte, but it's a weak electrolyte. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.